back to the, welcome back to the moose shop. I just bought this router jig uh, to make signs, so that it'll router out numbers and letters, and um, I'm doing a little bit of practice. But what I want to do is I want to show you how this thing works, and I'm I'm just making the this a, like a scoreboard for um, basketball court. Uh, so yeah, let me take you in and closer here and, and show you exactly what it, it comes with and, and well, then I'll show you how it works and we'll put it on the the real board and give it a go so stick around this should be interesting okay so I practiced a few times what this comes with is a, a, a rail that comes with extensions and you slide your numbers or letters in it and then you clamp it down uh, and it comes with two sets of one and a half inch and two sets of two and a half inch and then some vertical ones so my practicing seems like I got it down a little bit I'm gonna um, fill this all up with total boat epoxy and here's the vertical numbers running up and down a um, couple clamps some two set two bushings router bits that are yeah okay but yeah um, let's get this set up I think the hardest part about this is gonna be setting it up correctly so Okay, so I got them all in, in order, tightened down. You have uh, the, the extension with the two clamps here to hold these together, make sure they're tight. Then you have these um, adjustments here. I had to put a spacer, so I turned it upside down. I might even put some blue tape here so that um, you don't, uh, I don't router that out. Um, so yeah, so just make sure everything's tight and square and and let me you know double check your numbers these here are uh supports here for the so since you have the extensions there they won't uh, move around that much so keep them nice and tight and you can move these around get them out of your way so let's line this up on the board find out where we want it and go for it I got it turned upside down so I could clamp it easier. I used uh, some tape to mark off the ones I don't have to a router. Centered it, clamped it, so it should be ready to go. <laughs>
So before I pour some epoxy in these letters and numbers, I'm gonna put a little sanding seal in there. Okay, so I got the total boat high performance, medium hardener, and I'm going to put some white pigment in it for the uh, the numbers. So I'll start off with like three scoops. Okay, so she's all prepped up, ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this less from Total Boat. And they say to thin out the first two coats or, or three coats with the, uh, the thinner, with a high gloss. And then for the final, do a matte finish if you like. And that's what I'm going to do. So let's thin this out, get a, get a couple nice coats on here, and see how she turns out. All right, so far we have uh, three coats of diluted uh, gloss with the, the, the special thinner. I got two coats of straight up gloss. And then now I'm gonna put a, a matte finish on it for the, for the finish. And I just diluted it with just a little bit of the, of the thinner, just to make it easier to brush on. So let's see how this turns out. I know how it turns out because I already did the bottom. And his, wait till you see it. it. It turned out really nice. Okay. So notice how shiny it is and all that. And just let this dry and we'll get, I'll come back to it and you'll see how nice of a finish this puts on it. So it's been a few hours and this turned out really nice. It leveled out and smoothed out and I love the finish. I like that matte finish. Good job Total Boat on the Lust. This is um, a real good and you can tell that it's got a good protective coat on there for the elements. So this will be outside. I'm going to make the little pegs for the score. So I need a 
uh, drill a hole in this ball. And there's a little trick to that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you do is you get a piece of scrap, uh, scrap wood, clamp it down so it doesn't move. Get a Forstner bit or something that's a little bit smaller than the diameter of the ball. So this is an inch and a quarter, and this is an inch. We're going to make a little bed for this to sit in. And without moving anything, we'll change out the drill bit and drill the hole dead center. So we get to insert the uh, 3 8 dowel. Okay, so I made these, remember the, the balls, and I painted them up. Now we gotta put a little epoxy on them. So we're gonna use this four minute epoxy for Total Boat. And do the old blue tape trick to mix it up on the table. No mess, no just a nice easy cleanup. Wow, that really turned out nice. That matte finish from Total Boat, this Lust, is amazing. The, uh, it just leveled out really nice and easy to apply. It only takes a, uh, an hour or so to dry, no sanding in between. I mean, thumbs up for sure. Um, and also the Total Boat epoxy for the lettering and the numbers was, worked out really well. And also this other product was from Miles Crafts. Um, the stencil, I liked it. I mean, if you're doing a simple, um, you know, sign with just like this or a, an address or something, you don't have a CNC machine, um, I highly rec recommend it. And I'll put a link down below for all this stuff. To Come on, let's go. Let's play some bocce. What are you, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, can I finish the video, please, wow. first? You scared? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then we'll mind. Mind. All right. Oh, my God. So anyway, so <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and, uh, and I'll see you soon. Let me play with the sun. Let me hear what's like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, honey, kiss me.